And the one thing that I still want to touch upon is that, um, like when you think about what you brought up the point about ordinary people and this sort of a star admiration, and when, uh, because uh, Churchill is obviously the star of the movie, and then there's the typewriter. Yeah. I remember, I don't remember her name, the actress, but she is sort of, she has this sort of a balancing role that she is sort of like in a way our way into that world of aristocrats. Yeah. So it's sort of um, interesting that um, when you use these sort of like, um, when you use different types of people as different sorts of like anchors for the audience. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's a, I think it's also a well-worn device. Mm. But what I think indicates the strength of the film is that it didn't feel stale. Yeah. Because it, it, it could have, uh, it, this is always the case, I think, with mm. these, these sorts of, uh, whether we're talking about a great man in terms of politics or in terms of whatever. Mm. I mean, the disaster artist is now coming and that, that, yeah. talk, that talks about not at all a great man, no. but it's still thro told through his brother. No. Uh, that you always get this sort of normalized person. Yeah, basically like who's our who's viewpoint. Your, yeah, 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 are in. Yeah, true. In, into that world. That, that, but I think that, that, that since that is such a well-used uh, device and it didn't feel, it didn't feel, it didn't drag the film down at all. No. Um, especially this kind of secretary no. or butler or no. whoever it is no. it, in, in whichever movie or play or whatever. It, it just didn't feel like, um, although we've seen all of this before, we've, True. we've seen this, 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 sort of normal person who has to cope with this difficult person usually yeah. gets thrown out by the first few minutes yeah, and then yeah. comes back and all of these things mm, sort of all true. of these tropes and and yet you still feel that but but I think that that, that was also owed hugely to the actors and and especially Oldman that, that, that yeah. just, he's just such well Empire called him arguably the best British actor working today. Mm. I'm not sure whether that's true, but he is among the best. Yeah, he is. I don't think that there's any doubt that anybody would say that he was not in that sort of yeah. at least top 10. Mm. At least, yeah. Um, and it's, it's true because you could just go to the movie and uh, basically just watch him do what he does yeah. because it's so good yeah. he does it so well and it's if you really have uh, even the slightest appreciation for acting and well done acting it's really a marvel to see yeah yeah and i think that that also um there has been years in which the academy award nominations for the best actors or actresses have been that the that the movies themselves aren't that good mm. that they're sort of vanity projects in a way or otherwise sort of flawed and then this you have this tour de force yeah central performance mm. like happened with uh, for me for example with an with an actor who i really really admired and who was really good and i thought the role was really good but i didn't really care much for the movie was capote yeah with with philip seymour hoffman because i think he was really really good in that mm. role but i couldn't get really excited about the movie when no. I saw it and I think that this this thing happens quite often that mm. you have this you have this such a great performance that sort of hijacks the rest of the film mm. and the rest of the film just can't really live up to that no. but I don't think that that happened here I think that no. that was that this was not the greatest movie that I mm. ever saw but it was enough of a good yeah. movie to be considered a good movie yeah it was sufficient yeah yeah it was sort of like watching a good play in a theater, in yeah. a way. And the thing that I was wondering about when you pointed out that sometimes, to, like you used the word hijack, yeah. do you think that sometimes, like if the movie is on this level, and then there's a, an element 
like an actor who goes way up to this level. Yeah. And the problem is that the movie, there's this sort of a dissonance between the two levels of the movie. Yeah. That there's something that is so much better than the rest of Yeah, it's obviously a problem. Yeah, yeah. that's actually... I mean, a, lo a lot of the times in this case, it's also the, 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 the performance elevates the movie. Mm. I think it performance elevated this movie. Yeah. And I think that the performance in Capote elevated that mm. movie. Because without that performance, that that movie would have been, I think, really boring. No. Uh, but in this case, I mean, I don't know who else they would have cast for that role. I don't remember. They, they were in talks with other people as well, I think. But, um, but I think it would have been an interesting movie to watch, even if it wasn't with Oldman. No. But now it was an exceptionally interesting no. movie because, it, because of Oldman. No, it's true. And it's sort of rare that there's a movie that sort of like gets an extra star in your own mind just because there's an actor who, or an actress who does his or her job really well. Yeah. And this was one of those cases. Oh, um, I remembered one of, uh, one of the other nominations. Daniel Day-Lewis will be nominated okay. for Phantom Thread, which will be his fat Retirement his, party. Yeah, yeah. Last role and, and with a P.T. Anderson movie. So that might be really, really, really good. As yeah, well. it, it but, might be. Yeah. But I'm, I'm sort of, despite not having seen the other films, I'm still rooting, rooting for, for Gary Oldman because I, I, I think it's, it's just so rare for me to see something like that. It's, no. it's so rare for and me to, having, to have to pinch myself mm. in the no. middle of a movie and sort of say that's the guy, that, that, that is the guy who, mm. who, who played Leon, Leon's yeah. adversary or that's the guy who played Sirius Black or... Mm. You know, it's, it just doesn't happen that often. Yeah, and it sort of would be, I mean, it's, I don't know if it's a silly thing, but it's always nice when an, a really good actor or an actress who hasn't gotten an Oscar yet, despite being a really good, really good in uh, his or her craft, it's always nice to see them get that sort of like this final validation yeah, thing. Yeah, but this would be second. Second, really, an Oscar. Yeah, Tinker yeah. Taylor's. Yeah. He got yeah. an Oscar, yeah. just, not just a nomination. I think he won it. Yeah. Really? I, I think he won it. Yeah, you, I'm might, not you might actually be right. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm, not, I'm not sure, but I think he won it. Well, then screw him. Yeah. He's got yeah. one already. Yeah. Let, let's give it to somebody else. Yeah. Let's be um, Adam, like Adam, human Adam, beings. Adam, Adam Sandler. <laughs> <laughs> Except for honorary, honorary <laughs> for a life's work that has been exceptional in yeah. 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 All right. Do we have anything else to say? No. Nothing more comes out. Thank you.